earlier tonight after the Warriors game, I was doing some thinking, and I was wondering, are these the pettiest playoffs that we've ever had? And it started because I was thinking about it before the Warriors game tonight, uh, <clears throat> game five in Memphis. Steph Curry was asked what the team's game plan was, and he said the, the game plan was to whoop that trick, which is a song that they play in Memphis. Uh, it's very well known that they play this song. Steph said it before the game, and then the Warriors went out and lost by 40 points to the Grizzlies without John Morant. Um, on top of that, as they were down 40, Draymond Green grabbed like a rally towel or something and just started like hyping the crowd up along to the song. And then after the game, he came out and said, oh, I don't want to see the crowds just ride with the team when they're winning. And it just, it all feels on top of everything else that's happened in this series between Steve Kerr saying that Dylan Brooks broke the code when he uh, hard fouled Gary Payton the second and broke his elbow to Taylor Jenkins and the rest of the Grizzlies saying that Jordan Poole's a dirty player that bruised Jaws' knee bone with uh, his mighty kung fu grip. And it's just, it's been super petty. And I was thinking about it, and across the whole playoffs, um, the, the like every series has had some chippiness. So the other game from tonight was the, uh, the Bucks celtics Milwaukee steals that one. <clears throat> and this game wasn't too petty, but the game before it, had that incredible moment with Giannis and Marcus Smart lying on the court and, like, Giannis just, like, dead bodying it there and, like, refusing to be helped up by Marcus Smart. Just, like, saw who it was that was trying to help him up and was like, yeah, no, I'm content to just lay here until, until my team comes to get me. However long it takes, you're not helping me up. And that's kind of just, like, the normal chippiness. The, the heat in 76ers kind of feels like every, every single... Uh, series with Jimmy Butler involved is just petty um, and it's fantastic and then the the Suns and the Mavericks which is like this blood feud now out of nowhere you have Devin Booker trolling Luka Doncic when he uh, oversold a foul and fell to the ground and you could hear him on the ground going oh it's the Luka special you have Luka kind of just saying, like, hey, it's a taste of Chris Paul's own medicine. He just flops around everywhere. So how does he like it? Like, it's been insane. And, like, I don't know why. Like, I don't think any of these teams, like, hate each other, with the exception of, like, Miami hating every team they play. But it feels like there's some real rivalries here. And, like, the Grizzlies and the Warriors, like, that was just going to be a fun, exciting basketball series. It's going to be a really fun, healthy Warriors team and a really fun and exciting young Grizzlies team on the rise. And that was going to be great. And now it's like basketball civil war trying to watch that and like navigate what opinions that everyone's supposed to have. And like, is this player dirty? Is this this? Like, it's just crazy so much. It's gone so off the rails. So I don't know. It just it, it just occurred to me and I was I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was thinking about just every series has had some some toxicity to it and I think it it's interesting to me that a lot of it is like old guard new guard in a sense so like Bucks Celtics like both of those teams obviously think that they're the best team I mean really every team left at this point thinks they're the best team so you have like Giannis who's like I'm the reigning finals MVP I know I'm the best you have the Celtics who kind of are like well we know we're the best because we have to know we're the best and it's just all of these these ego clashes, and it makes for just such an interesting dynamic going forward. Like, the Suns and the Mavericks, I don't think like each other. Like, I don't think any of them like Luka. And, like, that sets it up since, you know, Booker's a young star in the league, Luka's a young star in the league. That sets it up as, like, a really great battle that we're going to get to see for years. So you throw in, you know, how young that Grizzlies team is, and it's like we're watching the, the next generation of western conference contenders and they all just have these massive chips on their shoulder which i think is kind of jarring when you consider like the lebron chris paul carmelo anthony dwayne wade banana boat era where like everyone was just happy for everyone and there wasn't much chippiness and they like there's some chippiness now and i just, it's crazy i don't know I don't know what is going to come next. I mean, who knows what's going to happen Grizzlies-Warriors next game in 
in uh, Oakland or in Golden State, you, I wouldn't be surprised to hear that the Warriors Arena plays whoop that trick if they're uh, like, it just feels like there's so much more capacity for trolling. Like I, I don't know. I've just, I really enjoy it. Not that it needed another dynamic to it, but it's so interesting that these these players that just had have no history or anything before this have just all like all of this like pettiness is just manifested and it's it's really interesting to see um if i'm missing anybody if i'm missing any any pettiness or toxicity uh please let me know in the comments if you have a favorite feud that you've seen so far or, or something that you're looking forward to over the years like i think i think Devin booker versus luka Doncic is probably one of the most exciting prospects that we have now in the nba so Please let me know your thoughts. If I missed anything, um, what you think about the pettiness, if you love it like I do, please let me know in the comments.